Yeah, welcome to this video. This is a video about an opening. Yes, about the <clears throat> Latvian Gambit. Yeah, a funny opening that quite often is um, yeah is requested in my live streams that I should play that, and um, I sometimes tried, sometimes even with success. But um, this video will actually now show how to refute that opening. I think it can be useful for E4 players to watch because, uh, well, it's a rare opening, but sometimes it's it's played um, in Blitz and, and, and other quicker time control, um, um, time control events, and it's useful to know how to review it because it's simply, it's easy to do, you just have to have to know very little, but if you know it, you can refute it. I'm going to show you all you need to know to get a great position against the Latvian. On a general note, I'd like to um, tell you that I'm going to do more uh, videos um, on, on openings in the future, um, mostly not very long videos, but uh, videos that will present um, a certain uh, concept or a certain idea, or like here, like a quick fix that you might um, be able to use if you want some information. Okay, what, what, what am I doing if the guy actually plays the Latvian and you can watch that video and get a quick information on that. I merge in um, other opening content that I had um, done earlier into one opening playlist. It will have opening disasters, openings uncovered, and um, I think I also did something on the London system one, once. It's kind of merged together, yeah? Um, I also did um, those larger repertoire series on D4 and E4. Those are, um, will remain separate because they make sense as a, as a block. But the other videos I'm going to merge into, into one opening playlist. So let's get going here, the Latvian. It's E4, E5, Knight F3, F5. Yeah, not the most um, logical <laughs> move ever. Black um, yeah, gives away pawns and uh, weakens his king in the process. It's like a king's gambit, a tempo down, and the king's gambit is not that um, brilliant in the first place. The important thing is to um, really know one line against it, and I think the best line is knight takes e5. Um, I, I looked at this, really, and tried to find out what is best. And um, there are a couple of other moves that don't um, impress that much. For example, um, a move like bishop c4, which looks quite logical, can be answered by uh, by this weird continuation where queen h5 Check. looks like it wins, but it is not that clear actually. Yeah, after g6. I don't really want to go into what is not so great. I just want to show what's good because that's all you need to know. I don't really need to know in detail why the other moves are not that great. So knight takes e5 is right. Here black plays queen to f6. This is the only move that is played with some frequency. There's the move knight c6 that's sometimes played. Um, that move seems to be entirely incorrect actually, <laughs> but it's still sometimes played. Um, here white has a very comfortable choice. If you want a very easy life, you can just take that and play d4 and are just better. You, you are pawn up and um, there's not a single hint of compensation for black. Um, he can take here, but that's not a good Check. idea, as um, this Check. loses the rook. And on queen h5, you definitely don't want to play king d7. I mean, you have to in that case. Rook down is even worse, but anyway, d4 is uh, completely fine. If you really want to refute that, you can play Check. queen h5. That seems to be very good for white, but it um, is kind of murky, this kind of thing. Takes takes queen e7 and white is an exchange up and two pawns but it is still kind of murky yeah this is um, the best line Check. then and it seems that white is um, probably a much much better it's the kind of situation that a computer and engine would win 100 percent of the time but for human it's it's debatable if you want to go with this or if you want to play that that simple move d4 yeah just take it and play d4 and you are a pawn up and have a better position. So it's really good enough. The other thing is for those guys who really want to play um, yeah, queen h5 the, the hardest possible way. Um, but queen f6 is the main move. Here is an interesting uh, moment again where white, I think, can uh, give up a little bit of um, prospects for an advantage. The best move is knight c4. This is stronger than d4. d4 is not bad at all. I mean, like this. 
say back here in this white is also better in this position but one important thing is that if you have the pawns like that d4 and e4 white opening up the position won't ha happen that quickly white can play this bishop castle f3 and trying to open up but if you play knight c4 here instead um like here you still have the idea to play d3 at some point. Uh, we will see more of that, and that will open up the center very quickly. Black takes it, it's no real other move. And knight c3, we see that white is gaining huge, um, huge lead in development. Here already it's difficult for black to, um, to take care of that, about that pawn. Yeah, it is attacked, what is black doing here? And uh, funny enough, and the most popular move here is giving up that pawn and playing c6. Yeah, um, the reason is that the other moves, um, yeah, are even worse. And um, let's have a look. There's also queen moves. Yeah, quite, um, quite, um, quite clearly. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I'm confusing things. Queen f7 is the main move. We yeah, should look at the other queen move. C6 is one move later. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's start with this. Queen g6. That's the first move to cover e4. Yeah, what to do here? The, the, the simple recipe is always go d3. We open up the position and ask black questions about that pawn. If black takes it, here like takes here, white will recapture, and we see that white's development advantage is getting enormous, yeah? And uh, well, I keep black and take here, and, uh, yeah, just to show Check. queen h5, king moves, Bishop e4, yeah, where is this going? <laughs> it's just a big joke, yeah, because white has uh, everything developed and black nothing. So that's not um, not going to work at all. So takes, takes, knight c3, that was queen g6. You play d3, that's the key move. And all you need to know, that's always d3 coming. If black goes uh, queen e6, you go knight e3 first. And now have bishop c4 in the in the mix and again d3 yeah like c6 oops i'm sorry <laughs> c6 you go d3 and white is much better yeah? if black takes we're going to recapture and well you already see we, we are going to castle and black has only moved his queen around and weakened his king white has three pins pieces out already this is probably going to be a very quick end to the game. Yeah, just to give an idea, if you give that an engine, it, it says like plus three. Yeah, so the engine already sees that this is going to be a total disaster in the in the near future. So black mostly plays queen f7 in this position. The idea is that knight takes e4 is answered by the d5 fork. So this is to be avoided, but uh, the recipe is, is simple. Again, you go knight e3. That's a strong move. We threaten bishop c4 here and still have the d3 possibility um, up our sleeves. Yeah, if black goes knight f6 here, we play bishop c4. Note that we control d5 so much that this is not even possible. So queen back to g6 and then well, not back it never been there but well it feels like the queen is is just hopping around and then d3 and again we are opening up the position and will have a fantastic lead in development yeah black takes yeah just and castles rookie one this is this is the end yeah it's a, it's already um, a winning position for white it's not better even that's probably going to be a win because black cannot castle and I mean, if he tries, let's say c6, go rook e1, bishop e7, bishop d3, queen, knight f5, and that's it. Yeah, it's going to be a real, real quick, quick and painful end to that game. The relatively best continuation, and that uh, tells you quite a bit about the quality of that opening, is that black plays c6 in this position. The idea is to go d5 and cover the pawn. However, white can just capture on e4. An alternative is d3 here. Again, that's rather logical, but in this particular case, after d5, black is indeed threatening d4, and you don't have a very convincing move against that. Yeah, you can try to sacrifice that piece here, yeah, because, well, d4, bishop c4, but um, black has something like bishop c5, let's say, and you don't have a very clear way to exploit this now. Yeah. 
Maybe you can sacrifice on d5. It is so dangerous. So d3 is not bad, but I recommend just to take the pawn. Yeah, if you take the pawn, there's really nothing that black can show for it. He goes d5 there. This has been played in a couple of games, amazingly enough. I really wonder what kind of uh, person would go for that as black. You just really a pawn down for nothing. Bishop d6 and d4. Yeah, and this is just... Um, a pawn for absolutely nothing yeah, and white has uh, clear clear ideas bishop uh, to d3 possibly c4 attacking uh, the d5 pawn this is just um, <clears throat> just excellent for white and you have um, a choice yeah instead of uh, grabbing the pawn with a good position you can also try d3 which um, however i didn't thought to be that clear yeah it, it still looks it looks good but um, yeah maybe i'm too much of a materialistic player I, I just th think okay i'll take the pawn and i'm better so why why not just do it it, it scores excellently yeah? and white um white can be very um, very um, comfortable here with that pawn so to sum that up against the latvian gambit you take on e5 with the knight not grabbing f5 or bishop c4 other moves take that pawn knight c6 seems to be incorrect due to basically both moves knight c6 or queen h5 and after knight f6 you go to c4 speed up development and now you only have to um, check if you want to take that pawn under which circumstance or when you want to go d3 that's the difference really to this move as i as i said here you have the pawn already on d4 so that d3 is not possible anymore to open up the position quickly and here again here here that's also better for white but I think the the other line that I showed as your as a main recommendation with knight c4 is better because you develop quicker and you get the position position opened up in a much clearer much clearer way. Yeah, your your choice is basically have a fantastic position with no material up or get a pawn and black has no compensation for that. So fantastic opening result yeah i hope you like that video uh, it's certainly helpful in some cases it's not played off in the latvian but um i mean i tried that out a couple of times in my live streams and i had some title players who really reverse after the opening they, they didn't know any of that and uh, i find that pretty uh, pretty amazing because well you look you look it up once and then you're basically uh, yeah gaining point after point if, if someone really plays it against you even though it's clear it's not a frequent opening okay well i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching